Greetings all, welcome back to Bridge and Clear. So, it's been a while since I sort of done any videos on this and um, as you can see I've already deleted the uh, squad. I've actually gone through a few of the different types of types of uh, special forces that are offered in Bridge and Clear. And for the most part, um, <clears throat> basically I don't think there's very much difference basically say about all the stats. They don't seem to affect the uh, game so much. But, um, well, let's just jump back into it and uh, see what we can do. Let's jump in with the Army Special Forces, perhaps, because I find that speed is perhaps the most important thing you can possibly get in here. And let's just make a team. We'll grab this guy. He'll be a breacher. And I like to go in here, like, just specifically call these guys, you know, um, their names. So we'll do that. It makes it easier to re recognize where they are on the um, the thing. So, Davian's Let's Play Forces. So we're taking our breacher along. We're going to take away our weapon sergeant. We're going to take a direct action. Oops. And actually, I accidentally got rid of my weapon sergeant there, so I have to make him again. And we're going to bring her along a medic. So you'll note that I'm not bringing a fire team leader along or um, the science officer this time around. I found that for my playstyle, those guys don't really help me as much. I'm more of like a lone wolf type of guy. So that's what we're going to go for. We're going to go for a breacher, a direct action, a weapon sergeant, and a, and a medic over here. So Breacher, Direct Action, Weapon Sergeant, and Medic. That's what we'll be going with. And I'll just get rid of this old squad because I don't, I don't plan to use it anymore. So I'll note that uh, with Breaching Clear, this is like, you know, um, an, it's an iPhone type of game. And I actually recommend that if you have an iPhone, that's where you probably want to play. It, I don't really think it's the greatest PC game, but uh, it is worth showing off just to sort of, sh you know, show what it's all about. Um... Typically, I consider this to be like a time waster type of game, because that's what it really is. Now, I do have access to all like, the different stuff down here and all that, but we're going to jump in here on Af Afghanistan. I'm just going to try and show off um, the first mission, and we're going to do like a terrorist something again, but we're also going to try and do bomb defusal and escape plan. Now, I want to note something. Um, I think what's happening with like the difficulties and such, you can't do the difficulties on this higher stuff until like you unlock it, so... The stars that you get whenever you can complete these missions, that's what lets you um, unlock the difficulties for this. So, the more you play this and get like your star range, that's where you get your, um, your difficulties unlocked, so to speak. So we'll jump into Afghanistan with these guys. And we will launch. So, choosing doors, and basically here's where like, you know, this is sort of the reason I don't bring a fire team, time, fire team leader around. I like to switch, switch, switch these guys up, so to speak. We're gonna jump in here with um, the weapon sergeant, I think. And he's going to... We're just gonna have him actually just, you know, sit there by himself, I guess. We'll bring the medic with him. And we're going to go have these guys interrupt Team B, and they're just going to use a shotgun breach. So note that the breacher and the director are going to go with the shotgun breach. 
That's why the breacher's going on the other way. Now I would prefer if like the um, the breacher went in first, but that's fine. We're gonna have the uh, direct action here. He's just gonna mosey on over here and cover the room this way. And the breacher is just gonna go in here. As you see, I'm gonna hit the breacher do a lot of the shooting like this. We'll have you go like this, actually. Now, here's a little tip that you can do, by the way. If you don't want these guys entering, you don't actually have to let them enter. They can uh, be, be positioned to um, hold position and turn them away from the door so that they don't enter. Consider it done. And this will actually hold them up. So that will actually prevent them from entering that door right away and these guys go in first. So let's breach and I'll just basically jump in with these guys. Boom. Oops. So one guy actually held hit hit behind that um, chair there, and I actually had one of my guys go down. Okay, you're gonna go like this. Let's shoot that guy a little bit. So a bunch of guys are over there. You're gonna go there. Got it. You're gonna go there. So we're just gonna have these guys enter and deal with these guys in here. It's note that I can see them, but uh, they're not, you know, they don't see me yet, I guess, because they didn't really do a shotgun breach. So I, didn't, I made a real noise over here, and that sucks, these guys don't know I'm here. The Breacher's taking a little bit of uh, action over there. This is actually maybe a good time to throw a grenade, because look at all the guys there. So throw a grenade right in the middle over there. Let's have the weapon sergeant and the other guy try and help this guy out. This is also showing off what the hard difficulty is all about too, as you can see. We'll have the medic come behind over there. Yes, sir. Frag out. Oh, my breach is down. But for the most part, I flushed these guys out. There's, you know, just these guys over here now. See here, if you go here, you can't reach anyone. So let's have you go here. Shoot those guys a little bit and then be done with it. Yes, sir. Note that I have stabilized here so I can stabilize these guys if I need to. Might be doing that in a bit. And note that hold also works like right there as well. Let's try this out. So there we go. We got rid of all the guys. It wasn't a you know the greatest thing because the entrance was kind of bad for direct action and breacher, but I managed to kill off everyone. So breacher got a few levels. Direct action got a few levels.
Met a guy a few levels. We're gonna continue. I'm gonna give the. Um, I actually want to basically boost up these guys' speed. I think because I found that speed is like very important for these guys. Essentially, speed lets these guys move farther, and that's um, really the most important thing in here. The other stuff is important too, like accuracy at you know certain ranges and such. But um, I found that speed is the most important, and in this one, we're basically just gonna have to breach these guys in through here. So let's see here. We're gonna have these guys stack up properly. I want the breacher going in first, and you know what? we're gonna have the medic go in second. Why not? So just p make your positions known. Team's ready, we're gonna let these guys just walk in normally. And for some reason the direct action is still going in first, I don't know why. Maybe I'm stacking them up in the wrong direction. Because it looks like the breacher's in the back and there's a medic there. So, maybe it's the wrong way, I'm just stacking them up. Oh well. Alright, I want direct action to... Sprint. All the way over to here, I think. You're just going to walk up to here. Let's paint the room in blood. Medic can just hold back here. Pretty sure you can go there. I actually want to make you just go. I don't want you holding it. I want you moving at least half half speed, basically. Now, I know we have half speed to actually go a little bit slower, these guys. Actually, you know what? Let's actually have him just hold up to the door. That's his job. He'll just, you know, sort of just mosey on over to here. Just guard our flank. Yes, sir. Alright, so a couple of guys got knocked down there, again, but I took out that guy there. That guy probably did a lot of damage to my guys there, so I, you know, took so much damage. A lot of these guys are in this room, apparently, so usually you have a bunch more guys in there, but this time around I have them over here in the front. Okay, I need to breach her to, uh, frag grenade a little bit. He needs to force some of these guys out of cover, so... Throw your grenade there. And a medic, you can go... Now, I don't know if I want to, I can throw a flashbang as well for the medic, but he's really not close enough to do that, so... Have you go by normal, normal speed over to maybe... Here, and you can just try and deal with these guys. Now the reason I moved him back there is because he's very close to one of the guys, so I can use him to stabilize, hopefully. Okay, not choose which guy I want him to stabilize, or... There we go. There's a weapon sergeant, he'll get up, and then we'll have the weapon sergeant at least back. I want you to hold and hopefully kill that guy over there. Oh. My weapon sergeant went back down. As you can see, that's what happens when you try and revive guys in fire. They'll go right back down. Let's have these guys start sit like this. Maybe they can take out these guys from this direction over there. So you just hold. I note that hold boosts these guys' accuracy significantly so they can shoot farther and faster and all that. Wow, that's a lot missing. I should probably also note that you have this situation rep. This is uh, useful to see what these guys are all about. So, right now we've got these grunts here, and if I use this, I can see what they're about. They're basically non trained uh, combatants, these grunts. 
All these guys are just basically grunts. There's nothing really special about them. Hold. Yes, sir. Hold and fire. And we are getting nowhere very fast. So let's try to flashbang. Actually, maybe the breach should control a little bit farther. Okay, no, these guys are both you know, not really going to be able to fire very well here, so... Hopefully that will maybe touch this guy and then I can move these guys up a little bit. So that they can shoot a little bit farther. And flashbang! What flashbangs do is they'll uh, basically confuse these guys. And as a result, these guys can move up a little bit. Hopefully that guy will like just leave me alone for a little bit there. And I can have these guys just move like... Just plainly up. Now, I want to be very careful moving this guy up. But... Actually, you no, know we're going to have you hold right there. To be sure, we're going to have you move up that way. We're going to have him, like, go up this round the room this way. I want to try and deal with this guy first, and then go with these guys here. So... Basically go like this. The breacher here can go. Since there's a door right there, and if I get there and there, it'll be a little bit easier to deal with these guys. So I'll have you throw your flashbang in here. And we'll have the medic. Approach to here. And maybe just go here as well. Boom! That's another nice thing about the flashbang ball. You can throw these guys out like that and these guys can walk in. So that's out of the way and then the mech can come over to here. Yes, sir. I'm pretty sure it can come over to here. Check your corners. So now he's shooting in there. Done. I'm pretty sure you can just walk over to deal with these guys over here. Essentially now there's only one guy left to deal with, so it's fish in a barrel time for him. Roger. We'll have you move a half speed over to the door frame. And that'll be it for this mission. <laughs> Nothing to it. Except for a few guys that died immediately. So that's terrible, but you know. I sort of screwed up with the placement of my guys there. So level 5. Up their speed a little bit more. So you know I'm maxing out their speed right away, just so that they can move as fast as possible. Now, even though there's four doors, I'm not going to split these guys up that much. What I'm going to do first here... Breach is going to go in at C. And I'm essentially going to have the Weapon Sergeant... He's essentially going to come over here. 
at B. And then the other two are going to come over here at C, I think, or... I am having the guy... I want my breacher at C. These guys, other guys are going to come over here at A. And we're basically just going with a shotgun approach for the other guys at A. And the other guys at B or in C are just going to wait around and have fun. So, team is ready. Direct action and the medic are just going to just romp in here and kick some ass. So, let's go like this. Actually, no. We're going to have the direct action go the right way this time. He's going to go over here. And medic will just go here. And they'll try and cover the, those flanks over there. The weapon sergeant, he's just gonna, you know, hold ground again. And I'll have him firing down that hall in a little bit. Yes, sir. Breacher, you're also gonna hold ground. Now this is very loud using the shotgun, but if there's a guy right there, they will take a lot of damage. Okay, my medic's taking a little bit of beating because he's getting shot in the back by this guy, so... Actually, no, let's just have you just go around the plant. Just do that, and the direct guy can kill him, hopefully. Now, the nice thing about these, you know, quick breaches over here is that this guy, he sees nothing in here, so... That's great, I think. Actually, those are, doors aren't open. So let's get that down out of the way. We're just going to have these guys look in here a little bit. Yes, sir. Oops. These guys are just going to look in here and see if there's anyone in those rooms that they worry about real quick. And director is just going to hold position and hopefully kill these guys. Yes, sir. Good thing I moved the medic there because the guy actually came out. Now we got to deal with this guy here. Looks like the weapon sergeant has his hands full of a lot of guys around, so he's going to have some fun. He's just going to hold position and basically just, you know, keep these guys at bay, hopefully. Direct action, he's in a bit of a pickle, but hopefully he can maybe hold his position there for a little bit. And then that can hopefully, for a flashbang... Note that I'm throwing it front, right on the direct, but it's not going to hurt the direct at all. And the Breacher, you can just basically throw your flashbang, maybe. Actually, no, let's have you throw your grenade, maybe. On this guy. Nice! That guy's an open... open kill. So I've lost no one. That's great. Looks like the weapon sergeant got himself a nice little kill zone. Pretty sure will be getting a kill in a moment. Now, at this point, I basically want to get uh, these guys healed up a little bit. You're going to move at half speed over to here. The medic is going to be busy healing you up, I think. 
Can you not heal him up? Ah, well, we'll just move the mech around with him, I guess, for now. You're just going to move past me right there. You know, let's just have you actually move more normal speed all the way up. Why not? Preacher should kill this guy, and that'll be fine, I think. Mackie might as well move all the way up as well, I guess. Yes, sir. So looks like the Breacher's got himself cornered by this guy at the moment, but um, he still has a grenade left, so that's fine. Yes, sir. Medic, can you he finally heal him, please? There we go. So we can heal up direct action with the Medic there. You know what? We're going to have our Breacher actually walk into the door now. So just walk like that. Go like half speed for it. Weapon sergeant can just, you know, continually keep firing. Nice little crossfire in this guy, so he won't be doing much. Got a few shots in that guy. Now, this is sort of a bad thing having like this guy right here because he's sort of in the way. But um, there is a way to sort of, sort of get around that. Essentially what I can do, I'm going to have this guy sprint um, right to here. Now I can't fire while sprinting, but basically he'll get there real fast and then he won't be, you know, killed. So that's great. The medic can basically just, you know, try and move up. I guess we can't take his position yet, so... Take what we can. You can just go like there, I guess. You can just hold position, and you'll just hold position for a little bit. Actually, no. Let's have the breach actually use his flashbang. And who's left? Just this guy over there, in the top. Now, luckily, this is a good position where I can put the Breacher, because I can make him potentially kill this guy. Actually, if I have you sprint. Yeah, I can have the guy, this direct here, sprint all the way over to position right now, so... Have him go like this. And we'll have the Breacher... Breacher can maybe just go this way. Medic, you can just go up this way. Let's have the yes, weapon sergeant enter the fray too. Why not? So note that doors of tree is covered if, like, you know, you're firing from like the side here. So they're in cover. You can go like that. Actually, you know what? Let's actually have the uh, medical position. Yes, all the all the breacher go up first. Yes, sir. Fire. You can suppress on this guy so he stays in cover. Consider it done. Have direct action move up to here. So essentially now they're all pretty much looking at this guy. Oops, I don't want using that. You'll use the flashbang here and this will be it for this one. Boom. 
No chance for him. So there's a free star, that's fine. I would prefer to four, four star for keeping all my guys alive, but essentially how like the star system works, you get more stars for keeping you guys alive and complete very fast. So the faster you complete this and the more guys you keep alive doing so, you get higher ranks for it. But apparently it took me too long to sort of do that one, so. Almost got our speed all the way up. Got Frag Pro of the uh, Breacher, so he's going to have increased grenade damage. Direct going to be able to do under pressure, so basically gives a bonus when um, he's under fire. Weapon Starship will get the ability to, you know, do damage while he's suppressing fire, and the medic will just be able to um, basically affect everyone in range. All right, now I've always had fun with this one. Essentially, you got a nice little kill zone right there, and you just have to flank it with two guys. So direct action and medic can go from A, and then B can be the other guys, and we'll have them do the shotgun breach. Shotgun Breach is what's nice about is that it'll damage people around here, so... That's good. Direct action, you can fire that way. Medic, you can just, you know, just mosey on in here and keep his ass covered. Done. Weapon Sergeant, you're just gonna go like this. Breacher, you can go like this. So direct action is firing down the hall. Now, preferably, you want to have like you know both these guys down the hall right away, but if I play a little bit safer there. That's ideally how you probably should be doing this mission, to do it safe. Yes, sir. Just have you go... ...like that. You can have a medic maybe go all the way down to the wall, too. In direct action, you can just basically just hold the position, maybe kill that guy for us. I took a little bit of fire there, but the um, rest of these guys are doing fine. Alright, now, I probably should be moving my medic up, but we're going to have him move up to... Let's say, you know, right about here. So you can deal with that door there for us. And we'll have our breacher here. Let's move up this way for now. And there you guys in this whole position. Yeah. Yes, sir. So where are they in these rooms? Now, this is my favorite room for sort of to breach right away because it's actually kind of easy to breach. You know, you basically can put your guy like right here and you can s snap all those guys there and this guy here can snap over the guys over there. So, maybe I can go here. Whoops. Go like that. You can go in there. Weapon Sergeant, you can go like this. And the Breacher, you can just go all the way over here. So nothing's in the middle room. A few guys are in that room. And then Weapon Sergeant is hold, holding his own right against these two here. 
So that's a really ideal way of sort of doing this one. I'll basically have the direct action guy, he'll throw in his uh, grenade, I think. Or actually, no, we'll actually have the um, direct action hold position, and we'll have the medic do that. Because medic doesn't have his you know good cover on these guys over here. While the uh, basically this guy can do a lot more damage with his pi pistol and stuff. You can just hold position, wait for your breacher buddy to come around, say hi. So yes, let's get this going. Just pretty much easy with the grenades. Uh, direct action can move here. Medic, you can move down to here. Pretty sure you can throw in your stuff. And weapon sergeant, you can just kick their asses. And a weapon sergeant decided to stop firing there for some reason. But whatever, he can basically just you know step in and finish him off. Doesn't really matter if I move the rest of these guys, but yes, they can sir. keep coming just in case. Yes, sir. Roger. And he kills them both. Nothing to it. So they're level 7, and now they're all at 100% speed, so they move as fast as possible. Now, I'm not really a big fan of this one. And part of the reason is that, you know, you got this big damn open area over here. Since we're going to have this guy just sort of sit around, the weapon sergeant at the uh, front door there, the other guy's just going to stick around the other side, so... We'll do that, basically go B. They'll do a shotgun breach. Team's ready. Whoops, I moved them to the wrong places, I guess. Weapon Sergeant's gonna be over there, apparently. So yes, this will be very interesting. Essentially, I don't like breaching this room because it's like so big and wide. I like to have the guys come from like, you know, the other side to sort of deal with this, but... Oh, well, we'll see if I can do this. We're gonna have these guys basically burst in and hopefully not get shot up. You're gonna go this way. Direct action, you're gonna go to here. And Mac, you're just going to, uh, heck, I don't know what he'll be doing, but, um, go like this and just paint the, the room, I guess. Stay sharp. Now, this room over here is not too bad to breach because basically this guy can walk in here and hopefully there won't be anyone really to sort of say hi to him. Just walk in there and just, you know, he'll make his way over here and he'll be like the sort of, you know, support. Consider it done. There's really no point breaching that big room here. Contact. And that was just, com you know, a complete waste of my guys, as you can see, just breaching through there. So now I'm down to one guy and he's got to basically kill off everyone by himself. Not the greatest thing. I don't know if they know where this guy is, so... Maybe if I'm lucky, he can kill everyone else by himself. Haha. Uh -huh. Consider it 
Maybe I'll go Rambo and kill everyone. Well, he's doing a pretty good job by himself, as, as you can see. That guy's over there. Apparently I killed one of those guys over here, which is interesting enough. But let's have you go here. Consider it done. Now I should be reacting after I shot that many times, so these guys should start moving, so I'm just gonna hold this guy and see what they do. Yes, sir. And they aren't moving. Interesting. Well, there's three guys in that room there, so... What I may want to do... Essentially, you have, you have lots of playroom here, basically, with um, the guys in these rooms. Not this one over here, but this one over here. Have you moved where? Why are you not shooting at that guy right there? Are you not in range or something? I guess he's not in range on that guy right there, so... Shoot this guy. So that kind of sucks that I wanted to kill this guy, but um, he's not in range for some reason. So let's move this guy back. Hey, look at that, he finally moved, that guy. Let's have you move back just in case. They do move these guys every so often, so... He's dead. Too bad this guy's in direct action. He'd be, you know, perfectly suited for this type of, you know, play. Being the lone wolf. In the game, the direct action is like the lone wolf guy. This guy is like the weapon support. Your breacher is basically the go inter type of guy, and then the mech's like heal. And that's like that what those guys do. And then, you know, you get the science off from fire team leader. They're just, you know, fire teams basically support the other guys, and then uh, the the you know intelligence guys is basically you know intelligence support. Tactical maneuvers and such. Okay, I don't want to open this door because I don't want these guys, you know, to basically see them. So, this is where it gets a little bit tougher. I think what we're going to do, we're going to have this guy go to here. And we'll have him throw a grenade right after we uh, open this door. Well, you flashbang them, so they're all... What? If I'm lucky, maybe this guy can walk in here and just, you know, take the rest of them out. They can't shoot by way, these guys. That guy did take a little bit of damage, as you can see, because the flashbangs don't disable the guys. It just, you know, confuses them. Med pack yourself. Get a little bit healed up. So it's not ideal how this one went down, but I'm still, you know, casually winning. And it's gonna have that guy kill that guy there. I'm great difficulty killing that guy because he's sort of, you know, in the cover over there, so what I just might want to do over here is just have you go here and try shooting him. Roger. Oops. 
That guy moved. Which kind of sucks for me, so... Let's have you move over to here, maybe. And hopefully you won't get shot up there. Yep, I died. So, this unfortunate sort of situation there where I put the guys in the wrong spots. No, you still get, you know, a little bit of experience. But, um, essentially you don't get much if you lose. And, you know, casual, oh no, you lost music. Music. Okay, so B is not the door I want to have these guys, you know, primarily come into. I want the uh, weapon section to go into, um, be there. Make sure it's right. So B, A, and that's right. Alright, okay, so good. That's at least done right this time. Now, primarily I want this guy to come here because he basically you can do what he did like the first time there with like the uh, office cubicle thing. You can basically shoot down the hall. So we'll have him basically hold position for now, not look in. And these guys can basically just enter and have a grand old time for now. I'll have like the breacher. Since I'll have the breacher maybe go like this. Correct action can basically just move in like this. And the medic can move over to just here for now. No one's in the first room. But that doesn't mean there's no one here. This is a perfect time to have the weapon starship just look in and just uh, start firing at everyone. Roger. This is a good time to maybe have the breacher. I don't know, maybe have, have him go up here. The medic can go. Actually, no, let's have the breacher go the other way. You can go um, this way instead. The medic can go over here instead. And you can just hold position over here. Arsenal, let's actually have him switch positions because he's not in the greatest position for fighting. Shoot him up a little bit. Alright, looks like the breach has got a few guys to deal with, so... Let's flashbang these guys, perhaps. Got it. And the medic can just sort of, you know, sit there and hold the fort down. Yes, sir. Direct action can hold. Got it. And you can hold. Looks like the breacher got someone. Deal with that guy. Yes, sir. The medic can just, you know, continue holding position. The weapon sergeant can continue holding his position. Actually, no, let's uh, suppress. Not suppose, not not sure it's gonna hit everyone, but. Essentially, I want the direct to serve, you know, get in here a little bit. Just a little bit, and like, you know, just get over to here.
Still got those guys over here to deal with, but the Breacher can go over to here. Mechanist can now continue holding. You can hold there. And I want you to primarily fire at these guys over here, so let's go like that way for now. Apparently someone's playing a hand that feeds. I have no idea what that team is about. Let's just go see. So have the bullet hit the CEO portrait in the Kabul. I wonder where the portrait is. Maybe right there? I have no idea, but whatever. Maybe, oh, it's right there, perhaps. Maybe he shot with that guy. All right, well, then I always just have you hold position here. The medic did his job, I think, and killed that guy, so you can come up to here. Yes, sir. Direct action, you can continue holding your position, more or less. Sir, Weapon sergeant, you can... Uh, I don't know, let's have maybe the weapon sergeant move up a little bit. Hopefully he won't get shot out doing this. Basically, he, he should be fine for a way that these guys have a good chance of missing him, I think. But ideally, you don't want to move him around in front of uh, fire. Roger. And as you can see, he's taking a couple of hits. So weapon sergeant took a couple of hits there and move out. That's why it's bad moving them in front of fire. Down. You know what? This guy's sort of going there, so. I have these guys this whole position for now. So direct action took care of that guy for me, so... Roger. You like this now. Done. You'll go like that. Then we got these guys over here to deal with. He's still pretty much at full health, that guy, so... Roger. We'll probably be a long time before he goes down. Let's just throw a flashbang to quicken it up a little bit. Maybe the breacher can finish him off for us. Done. And now it's just pretty much, you know, kill these guys over here. So that's what these guys will be up to, the breacher and the medic. They'll just advance. Let's have the breacher just take a you know, quick little snapshot over here. And that can advance all the way up to... here for now. And these guys are in this whole position for the most part. I'm actually kind of tempted to have these guys just, you know, go up to here, perhaps. Yes, sir. Pull off the mech, because he'll get there a little bit too fast, so... That guy's down.
Let's have you throw your grenade into the room. And that can go here. Grenades for everyone! Now, what if I can do this? Basically, suppressing fire will force guy into cover. So let's see if I can force this guy to stay in cover and get hit by a grenade. Boom. And there's uh, that one done out of the way. So that took a bit of doing because I sort of fouled up on the you know first entry there. Visiting my guys wrong. But that's basically Afghanistan in a nutshell. And these points I'm basically just gonna drop them into accuracy, I think, for now. So that's basically Afghanistan with the, like the terrorist hunt. Basically, I'll jump into this again with um, the other missions. So that'll be like you know bomb defusal and escape plan. I'll basically show what they're all about. For now, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys when we do this again.